In this example, we're going to look at how to create a link from one page to another using Dreamweaver. I've created a basic page with three pieces of text, and we're going to look at how to create a link of each of these different types. The first is an internal link, and that's going to link to another page within our website. So I'm going to select the text I want to convert into a link down in my property panel and choose where it says link and I have a couple different ways I can do this. First, I can simply type in a value, resume1.html, which I know exists because I can see it inside of my local file panel. I can click on my file folder and browse for a file, selecting a different file. And when I click OK, after selecting the file, you'll notice that, that the file name appears in the link box. This is great if I need to go within a subfolder or if I have a very large site. My third option is you'll notice it looks like there's a little target symbol in between my link box and my file folder to browse for my files. This is referred to as point to file. I will simply click and drag and have my mouse cursor over the file that I want to select while holding down with my left mouse button. When I let go, you'll notice that inside the link box, it now selects that file. An external link is very similar to an internal link. The difference is an internal link points to a file that's inside of our website. An external link simply points to a file that's outside of our website. So once again, I'm going to select my text. Instead of being able to use the point to file or browse for file, I'll need to type in in this case because the link is outside of the website. I'll start with my protocol, HTTP or HTTPS. These two will serve 99.9% .9 of all links you'll wind up creating. I'll then point it to the web server I'm interested in. I can hit the enter key and this will go and create that link for us. Anything to kind of take it off of that link box, I can click outside of it, hit the enter key, hit the tab key, etc. Now a lot of times, if I'm doing an external link because I'm taking you outside of our website, I want to come over here to target and choose a target. A target was originally designed for frames, and we're not going to worry about that. It has an underscore blank. Underscore blank is a special key term that it uses to let us open up a new window or a tab if you're in a browser like Firefox or Chrome and will let us open that link inside that new window that way we can view it there and when the person closes that window they don't lose the link to our website. Finally we have an email link. An email link will open up your email application. This will be something like Outlook, maybe Mail, Thunderbird, and a variety of other types of tools. The key is, is that the end user must have an email software on their computer. So if they only use something like Yahoo Mail or Gmail, then this is not going to work for them. But assuming that they do, I can select my link once again, come down to my link box. This time I'll need to type in Mail to then an email address, example at access to learn.com. I'm not going to have any slashes. I don't have to do the protocol. The mail to will handle this for me. I'll hit the tab in this example and it moves off. You'll notice in each of these cases, if I look at my code window, that I can see I have an anchor tag, which is just my A. I have an href, which says, what is my hyper reference or what file am I referencing? and then it has equals and inside of quotes it has the file name that I'm referencing. I have my link text. This is the text that displays inside the browser. And I have my closing anchor tag so it knows when should a link stop being there. And this is going to be consistent for all three of my links regardless of if I'm doing an internal link, external, or a mail to. I can replace that text with other things like an image for example. If I do that, then the image becomes a linking object. And if I click on the image, it will take me to a new location.
There is one other way to create an email link I want to show you real quick. From my drop down menus, I'm going to choose insert, and choose email link, and it brings up a little box with two pieces of information. First is text. This is going to be your link text. I'll just say me. Then I need an address. Click OK. And you'll notice that it's created inside of my paragraph that I just had an anchor link with the href mail to colon me at access to learn.com. So those are just some easy ways to create links inside of Dreamweaver.